I'm gonna just stop you right there. It makes me not want to give a shit about any kind of technical stuff because it's just so good. Hey, I'm Richie Beretta. I'm in my studio in Queens, New York. Today I'm gonna to show you some of the ways I like to use plugins by Baby Audio. They're one of my favorite plugin companies. I'm gonna show you some examples of how I like to use their plugins across a bunch of different styles of music. A couple of reasons why I like the Baby Audio stuff is one, it's easy and it always sounds good. Two, it's not subtle. And just like me, because I'm a New York boy, I'm not that subtle. Okay, let's go. All right, let's get into it. First example, every song ever has an 808 in it. This is how I process 808 basses. Now, if you're gonna tell me, hey dude, an 808's actually a drum. Hey, listen, ring my doorbell. We could talk about it then. All right, so I got an eight bar loop of a record I'm working on. It has a bunch of 808s all over the place. I'll play it and then we'll bring in some of the baby stuff and I'll talk you through what I'm doing. Okay, let's put the baby stuff on. I'm gonna just stop you right there, man. <laughs> this is what goes on, parallel aggressor. This thing on an 808 makes it speak. We do the punch button, we do the brick wall button, we blend in some of the direct level, we blend in some of the compression level, we add a lot of this heat, and then we hit the extra hot button because your boy likes spicy food. From there, your old friend, Super VHS, and what this is doing is adding more saturation. It's widening the bass. The listener is paying attention to your vocalist, but still perceiving the cool stuff that's out on the sides. My friends, welcome to the promised land. And guess what? Magic button is on. You know what? Let's just dissect this. Let's go one by one. This is just a high pass duplicated 808. I'm gonna pop it in right over here, but I'm gonna turn the volume up because without all that low end information, you're not gonna be able to hear it. So it's gonna be jacked up a little bit. Here we go. So that's the harmonic of the 808. Now I'm gonna back it off and we're gonna add in parallel aggressor. And then we're bringing up the level, we're bringing up the distortion and then VHS. Now you're saying, Richie, what's this thing doing over here? It's moving by itself. What is this, Halloween? <laughs> it's not Halloween, my babies. It's automation, dude. So look at this. If we zoom in here, I enabled the automation of the mix knob. As the 808 sustains, the mix knob goes from around 8.77% all the way up to 100 as the sustain goes up, creating a widening effect, making it a much more enriched experience. Isn't that nice? Put it all together with the 808s, with the kick drum, boy. Oh, dude. So I like what the VHS did so much. I just copied it to the Synthie Boy track. So let's listen to Synthie Boy without It kind of sounds like my doorbell. But then you pop it in, option drag it down to the track and it'll copy your settings and your automation. And now it sounds like my doorbell if I was a much cooler person. Yeah, you got your 808, but now you have a signature. That's gonna help your artist stand out. Or if you're the artist, to help you stand out. If you're the producer, it's gonna help your production stand out. You know, you don't just throw in a regular 808 that you get on some sample website. And now it rips. All right, I'm in Ableton now. What did you think? I only work in one door. Okay, so this song is a song by an artist, Agent Envy, and this is just a sort of segue into a big chorus. Let me just play it for you without the baby audio stuff on. Now that sounds cool. Well, let's make it our own, my babies. I got parallel aggressor on the kick. Keeping it direct because it's, di it's right on the track. I don't have to create buses or something like I would do in mixing. I could just slap it on and get the sound that I'm looking for fast. And when I'm producing, I have to get my idea out or else your boy will forget it because I'm a forgetful boy. Sometimes I gotta take some more ginkgo biloba. I got parallel aggressor, some compression here. 
I'm also keeping the low end preserved with their high pass filter. I'm adding in the direct signal and I'm also distorting it, but I'm adding a high cut because I don't want this part to be uh, super hi-fi because it's a segue to a much bigger part. Then we got my buddy Super VHS with the magic button free on their website. I'm really just using it for the magic button here. And then to give some rhythm, I'm adding Comeback Kid, slapping it right on, not using it as an aux. You could really shape your tone. And that is really important with delays. I hate when delays sound exactly like the thing that they are echoing. This, it's almost impossible to have something that's an exact replica because it sounds so much like an analog delay and you can crank it even more in that direction. So this is the kick with all the baby stuff on it. And then just so you get an idea of what it sounded like before. And you know, that's, that's boring compared to it. The snare has some more parallel aggressor. We got the punch button, which is really awesome. Again, that's like that fast VCA style transient emphasis. The heat button all the way up because that's what you do. I was trying to talk to Baby Audio about putting a section in their manual that says when you use this, this heat has to go all the way up. Otherwise. <laughs> She'll never win a Grammy. That's that, and then Super VHS, and this is adding some noise. Now, I want this part to be kind of lo-fi. It's a segue into a much bigger part, so I do want to introduce some noise, and you can do that with this static slider. It's really good. The mix is all the way up. I'm adding some heat. The drift thing is really cool. It sort of emulates a, a tape that's overly stretched, and uh, of course, the magic button. So this is the snare without everything. It's a cool snare, but with it, it's a little bit more spacious and also not as defined, but that's important to me in this part. It's a creative decision. Baby audio stuff is really easy to get that sort of creativity out. The, another cool thing that I like about their plugins is that sometimes I may not have an idea and I'll just go and f around. And all of a sudden I'm like, oh, you know what? This is cool. And I just, that's my vibe. All right, so I'm going to loop this part and I'll bring in the baby audio stuff one by one so we can hear how the tone has shifted so drastically. That's it. So, you know, if you have a loop that you like, but you don't really want to recreate it, toss on a bunch of the baby stuff and just have fun with it until it turns into yours. We're in such a looper, pre-made sample based production style. It's a challenge to sound unique. Their plugins have like a few controls and it, within five minutes, you got yourself a unique sounding kick or a snare, something that someone is not gonna be able to point back and be like, oh, I know where they got this from. All right, so let's get the hell out of Ableton and go back into Pro Tools for one more example. Miles. Yay! You know your boy was not gonna leave you hanging without doing a vocal example. I'm working on some vocals here that was taken from a song that I mixed for Ruby Stinson. The song's called Worst Way. It's part of the pre-chorus. So there's like a call and response thing here. So let's check it out. I still remind you of Wait, Richie. Oh, mommy. The porta di spaghetti. Thank you. Hey. Oh, I love you. Uh, all right. Okay. Uh, all right. Ma, you know what? Ma, this looks beautiful. Yeah, I love you. Thank you. Oh, okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Goodbye. All right. Let, okay. let me just eat this, all right? Okay. Ah, and now, taglia di sti cazzi capelli. Mamma mia, brutto. Mmm, let me tell you something. This woman is an artist. Look at this. This is beautiful. Mommy, I love you. Mommy! I still remind you of Fasta. And that is how I like it. I make your mind fall apart. And that is how I like it. So those are the vocals dry. I want to differentiate between the call and the response. I'm going to do that by adding some delay to the response, which is the that's how I like it. Brace yourselves because this is a little complicated. I'm taking a stereo send 
and I'm taking the left side and I'm sending it to a mono delay. I'm taking the right side, I'm sending that to another mono delay. The output of each delay is going to get sent into the other delay, so they're crisscrossing, creating a feedback loop. Sounds crazy? That's because it is. But it sounds really good, and I'm using Comeback Kid as the two delays. So left side goes into this Comeback Kid, which is at an eighth note. Right side goes into this Comeback Kid, which is 10 milliseconds slower than an eighth note. So we create a Haas effect. Both of these delays are feeding a reverb. And that could be any reverb you like. And then I'm EQing that because I don't want everything to reverberate. The secret sauce, though, my babies, is Parallel Aggressor. And I'm adding just a little bit, that much, of the punch and the brick wall. And let's listen to what it sounds like with all this in. I still remind you of Foster And that is how I like it I make your mind fall apart You like that, I like it I I'm gonna mute the call so you can just hear how long that tail of the response goes for And that is how I like it You like that, I like it Beautiful Hey, guess what? It's over now, my babies. It's done. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed hanging out with you. Get everything Baby Audio makes. I'm Richie Beretta, and I'm a baby.